Hello everyone. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. General Hospital's Bobby Spencer recently passed away, and the legacy character is among many General Hospital exits this year, some more drastic than others. Let's dive into all the characters that left the General Hospital daytime special drama in 2024. Tragically, Bobby Spencer dies in a general hospital. Let's talk about who left general hospital in 2024. We'll start with the biggest one that we're all talking about, and that's Bobby Spencer, Jacqueline Zeman. Former general hospital head nurse, Bobby had her last episode on April 27th. It was at Bobby's grandson, Michael Corinthos, Chad Dwell, wedding to Willow Tate, Caitlin McMullen. The Bobby Spencer actress passed away in May, less than two weeks after her final episode. Bobby's child, Carly Corintho Spencer, Laura Wright, found out that her mom passed on the first new episode of General Hospital in 2024 on Tuesday, January 2. Bobby Spencer's funeral airs next week on January 10. Many cast members are returning to the memorial to pay tribute to Bobby Spencer and her portrayer Jackie. Indeed, it will be an emotional episode centered around Bobby. Out of the General Hospital canvas, Max Scorpio. Speaking of beloved General Hospital legacy characters, John J. York exited his role as Max Scorpio because of a medical crisis. York has two types of blood cancer and is currently in treatment. In a recent update, he said he'd had his bone marrow transplant and things are going very well. His last episode as Mac was on November 7, and he anticipates a return. A more somber exit this year was Roger Howarts, whose character, Dr. Austin Gatlin Holt, was brutally murdered by an as-yet-to-be-revealed killer. This was his third character on General Hospital. He first showed up as Todd Manning, then played recast Franco Baldwin. Then, after he was killed by Peter August, Wes Ramsey, and then they made him the doctor, which didn't really fascinate fans. The tragic departure of Britt Westburn from General Hospital. Another General Hospital character death from 2024 was that of Britt Westburn, Kelly Thebod. Her last episode was on March 2. Britt was already dying of Huntington's disease, but the hook killer was the one who killed her with her poisoned weapon of choice. Also, Eden McCoy temporarily exited in 2023 as Jocelyn Jacks and remains off the general hospital now for an indeterminate time. She's grieving the death of her mother, who passed away after a multi-year battle with breast cancer. She'll be back, but for now, Eden's been off-screen since December 13. Recast Courtney Folk has temporarily taken over the role. Speaking of the teen scene, Cameron Weber actor William Lipton decided to leave General Hospital to focus on college. We were told back then that he'd be back for episodes over the summer, but that never manifested. Possibly because of the writer's strike. Lipton's last episode as Cam was on March 30. In it out in 2023, Emma Sams played Holly Sutton for 14 episodes. She dealt with the kidnapping of her son Ethan Lovett, James Ryan, by the awful Victor Cassidine, Charles Shaughnessy, who was auctioning him off to the highest bidder. And by the way, James stepped in as Ethan, taking Nathan Parsons' place for a moment. Holly stuck around briefly to try and lure Robert Scorpio, Tristan Rogers, away from Diane Miller, Carolyn Hennessy. But then she gave up and left town. Another old-school return in 2024 was Ellen Travolta, who played Gloria Cirillo, Lois Cirillo's, Rena Sofer's, mom. She left town on November of 29 after the Thanksgiving disaster, and Yuri, Cyrus Hobby, helped sort out her Russian bingo plot, which was needless and poorly written. Elizabeth Weber's, Rebecca Herbst, distant mom, Caroline Weber, Denise Crosby, turned back up for a moment in February 2023, but her dad wasn't seen this past year. Perry Shen showed up in 2023 as bad boy Brad Cooper. He was last seen at Epiphany Johnson's, Sumya Eddy's, memorial service. Drew Cheatwood showed up for a hot minute 
as Milo Giambetti for the Magic Milo performance at the Nurses' Ball. He was in and out and done by April 7. Marcus Taggart is absent from the hospital. One dissatisfying exit was Real Andrews as Marcus Taggart. Last we saw, he was devastated by the revelation that Curtis Ashford, Donald Turner, is Trina Robinson's, Tabiana he Ali, to be developing father. a drinking problem to cope with the news. Also, he was considered for the position of Port Charles Police Commissioner. But then, they abruptly ended his appearances on July 19 without continuing either storyline. A very sad exit in 2023 was the character of Epiphany Johnson. Actress Somia Eddy died suddenly in December 2022 after complications from surgery. But it was in late March 2023 that the General Hospital paid tribute to the character and actress. They held a memorial service on the 29th of that month, recasting Christina Corinthos in a shocking way. A stunning exit that came in 2023 was that of Lexi Ainsworth as Christina Corinthos. The General Hospital reportedly abruptly let her go and replaced her with recast Kate Mancy. She's a big catch for General Hospital, as she's done excellent work over on Days of Our Lives. But many fans were stunned that they'd abruptly replaced Lexi, who'd been on General Hospital since 2009 as the mob princess daughter of Sonny Corinthos, Maurice Bernard. Speaking of stunning exits, one of the most shocking of the year was Christina's sister, Molly Lansing Davis. Haley Polo's last General Hospital episode was May 24. She was involved in a horrifying DUI accident and was charged with two felonies with aggravating circumstances. According to a lawsuit filed by the man, she struck while reportedly driving drunk. Also, she had marijuana in her system. She almost killed him. The lawsuit calls her despicable for her actions that night. She posted before news broke about her DUI charges that she was taking time off from General Hospital to heal from an auto accident. But that's a serious understatement. According to police, she struck a parked car, drove away, then got onto the freeway, heading in the wrong direction, where she barely avoided another crash. Then he drove head-on into another driver, nearly killing him. Last we heard, she remains in a posh rehab facility in Malibu because, in California, time in rehab can substitute for jail time. And she's facing up to six years in prison. I don't expect her to be back at General Hospital. Since Haley had to leave because of her felony arrest and DUI charges, we've gone through a few other mollies. Now they've landed on Kristen Veganos. One of two top-notch villain exits for me in 2023 happened on February 22, 2023. That was when Max Scorpio took out the trash and shot Ryan Chamberlain, John Lindstrom dead. Ava Jerome, Maura West, hit him once but seemed to lose her killer instinct. Thankfully, Mac took care of it. Although I have to say that I love Ryan, I'm a fan of villains. So I was a little sad to see him go. I was much less saddened by the second biggest general hospital villain exit of 2023. Victor Cassadine was blown to bits in May 2023 by a bomb dropped from a WSB drone. This was a satisfying exit after a really good storyline. He terrorized many in Port Charles, including his son, Valentin Cassadine, James Patrick Stewart, also Val's love, Anna Devane, Fanola Hughes, and his grandnephew Spencer Cassadine, Nicholas Chavez. Villains of the Major General Hospital Exit Speaking of Cassadines, there were two other exits from that legacy family in 2023. An exit most fans hated was Marcus Coloma bowing out as Nicholas Cassadine. General Hospital didn't renew his contract, and his final episode aired in January 2023. Since then, Adam Huss has shown up as a replacement for Nicholas. He popped up in September at the Swiss bank to check on his fortune after waking from his coma in Pawtuck. Now he's back in Port Chuck, and she wants revenge on Esma Prince, Avery Kristen Pohl. Also, we got to see Constance Towers back as Helena Cassadine for Helena a couple of episodes to torment her biological son Valentin at the General Hospital. 
He hallucinated his evil mommy while he suffered at the hands of the virus his bio-dead Victor planned to unleash on the world, Thanos style. Emma Drake is currently not present at General Hospital. A much happier General Hospital in and out this year was Brooklyn Ray Silzer as Emma Scorpio Drake. She came back for just a moment to check on her grandma, Anna Devane. Robert, her grandpa, brought her back to town to comfort Anna, and it was a nice but short reunion. Related to Anna's 2023 storylines, Andrew Maddox, Anthony Montgomery, came back for a single episode to hand her a file he'd gotten from the WSB about the Cassadines. One general hospital exit that I was thrilled to see was Bonnie Burroughs as a horrible Gladys Corbin. She'd been taking advantage of Sasha Gilmore, Sophia Matson, for months. Then she let her shady doctor pal do bad things to her in Ferncliff. Lucky for Gladys, Sonny let her live, and she slimed her way out of Port Chuck on October 5, 2023. The run of Mason Gatlin ends. Like Gladys, another I really won't miss is murderous Mason Gatlin, Nathaniel Gray, who's off to prison. The lollipop-loving psycho is headed for a couple of decades behind bars at Pentonville for kidnapping Ava and other foul deeds. His last General Hospital episode was on November 29th. Related to that story, we saw naughty nanny Betty Rutherford, Ella Lentini, come and go this year while slapping and terrorizing Ava to get information for Cyrus Renault, Jeff Kober. Ella left on August 21st. Speaking of slime balls, Link Brown, Dan Buren, is over and done. The pervy, creepy manager of Blaze, Jacqueline Grace Lopez, and formerly Brooklyn Quartermain, Amanda Seton, was outed at the nurse's ball and thoroughly exposed. Hopefully, we won't see him again at General Hospital. Bad Dr. Damon Montape was portrayed with finesse by Darren Tudor. The monstrous shrink was the one who drugged Sasha and stuck her in Ferncliff. Then she blackmailed Gladys for gambling money. This guy was a real piece of work, and I'm just sorry he wasn't killed off. He was arrested and exited in cuffs on October 5, 2023. Both Montave and Gladys came out relatively unscathed, which was frustrating. A fun short cameo at the psych ward was Josh Swickard's wife. He plays Harrison Chase, of course, and his wife Lauren played a nurse at Ferncliff. More fun cameos came as they brought in Walt Lilly to play All My Children's Jackson Montgomery and Cassie DePava as Blair Kramer from One Life to Live. Grey's Anatomy's Chandra Wilson played Cindy Valjean at the nurse's ball, which was a fun treat. Another exit that I hope sticks this time is that of horrible Harmony Miller, Inca Cadrenal. She was back at General Hospital to haunt Willow and warn her about just someone. six episodes in 2023, but I'd rather it was none. She was trying to warn Willow about someone or something, but really, who cares what that woman thinks? She let a cult leader rape her teenage daughter repeatedly. She's garbage and a killer, and she was trying to kill Alexis Davis, Nancy Lee Gron, when she herself was run down and died as a result. Good riddance, and I hope never to see her again. Speaking of General Hospital she villains, Lydia Look has been MIA as Selena Wu. She's not been seen since October 23, but I imagine she'll be back around in 2024 to harass Curtis about the Savoy or do other dirty deeds. Another bad lady who went down in 2023 was Deputy Mayor Eileen Ashby, Heather Mazer. She did Victor's dirty deeds but she let him down. Then he threw her down, or more accurately, off a bridge to her doom, on March 28. Speaking of bad women who do bad things, Warden Ellen Garten, Diana Nicole Baxter, conspired with Cyrus. Then, I left General Hospital for greener pastures on October 12. Zeke Robinson appears on General Hospital. Where is he? In and out this year was Gavin Houston as Portia Robinson's, Brooke Care, Brother, Zeke Robinson. He's a lawyer who represented Drew Kane, Cameron Matheson, as he faced those SEC charges. And he stuck around long enough to get Jordan Ashford, Tanisha Harper, into bed, 
but then left without another word on July 10th. Indeed, fans want him to come back and give Jordan some more romance. David Lottman appeared in 2023 as slimy paparazzo Grant Smoltz, who harassed Sasha but didn't stay long. Charles Majeur is out as John Brennan, but I doubt he's gone for good. He was arrested just before Christmas, but I suspect he'll be back in 2024. Speaking of harassing Sasha, the always slick Morgan Fairchild returned for a handful of episodes last year as Wicked Home Shopping Network Maven Haven de Havilland. Lastly, I have to wonder if Leslie Charlison is already done as Monica Quartermain. Last time we saw her, she was at the Q Mansion in a wheelchair. She looked terribly frail. She's been off since and wasn't in the official photo for Bobby Spencer's funeral. But I certainly hope she's there. However, once that's over, I'd be surprised if we saw her again. General Hospital is kicking off the new year with drama and angst. Don't miss a minute to see the tribute to Bobby Spencer and her portrayer, Jackie, on the General Hospital Update News. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our General Hospital Update News channel and stay with us.